August 2007, film guru Rick Manello moved back to Brooklyn. With nowhere else to go, he returned to the home of his childhood friend, fellow film buff Mel Newhouse. Can two former NYU film students talk about movies without driving each other crazy? Today we're going to talk about one of the great stars of all time and the sad tale of how he was mistreated by the very studio he made millions for. you got to be talking about Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart, Bogart, that's right. The guy who was screwed by Warner Brothers. He made some of the greatest films, the great cult films of all time, The Maltese Falcon, High Sierra. He basically became a, a, a minor star with um, The Petrified Forest. Yes, which he was a huge hit on Broadway. They bring him out there, he's a sensation. And then the next thing they put him in, Isle of Fury. Isle of Fury. Isle of Fury. Poor Bogart, he'd been the toast of Broadway the year before and had been nominated. He, he really was, was uh, pretty much nominated for awards for that show. And uh, they stuck him in a movie with a giant octopus. Goes, I, you know, know, I gotta you... fight a giant octopus. Why do you exactly. do... Why And it wasn't even like a, a big studio, if it's like on the wires. Yeah, the, the hands get stuck and everything. So I think we'll start off with the um, a clip from uh, that great movie, The Year After. Petrified Forest. The Year After Petrified Forest, award-winning movie, had won awards on Broadway. His career was going. He signs with Warner's, and they put him in Isle of, Isle of Fury. Fury. Yeah, we'll now see the fine scene with the octopus. <laughs> This is just sad. I'm sorry. This guy was an award-winning actor. They got him in a, a helmet. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We know it's down there. Too bad Bogey hasn't seen it. Uh-oh. Here it comes. It's moving fast. Oh, it got stuck. No. He's fighting it now. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. Oh, poor Bogey. Told me I wouldn't have to do this. They told me I wouldn't have to do this. Last year I was in the Petrified Farms. Just as long as I get dignified projects. Look at these guys are leaving. <laughs> Poor Bogart. Ow. Ugh. I said dignity. Can they get the helmet off his head? It's so big. <laughs> I think we should just stop it now. <laughs> You had enough. I think I could take it anymore. In 39, uh, he did some big pictures. He did uh, Roaring Twenties, which was big. Roaring Twenties is probably one of the biggest movies of 39 for them. What's the matter, Mama? We want to get out of here. We want to get out of here! Shows you it's a big picture, gangster picture. Got the Warner Brothers shootout, Raoul Walsh. Look at this, exciting, well produced. The thing about the Roaring Twenties, even there, even there, he's, he's the head of a rival gang, and there they are tr hoping to hear news of Cagney's gang being wiped out. They're hey. sitting there with their babes on their lap. They're hot he, babes. They're hot babes. It's it's Bogart's movie. mall. I, she, Looks like a woman named Dame Judith Anderson. <laughs> Look at there's Bogart's girlfriend. <laughs> She's about 50, and I find all women beautiful, but not this time. I think we should also show though what he what he did the same year, yeah. which is they put him in besides supporting big sporting roles and very prestigious big movies. Roaring Twenties is probably one of the biggest movies of '39 for them. Right. They put him in The Return of Doctor X. X, weird symbol of humanity's most dangerous secret, the forbidden barrier that science must never cross. But in an amazing climax to a revolutionary medical discovery, its terrible power is delivered into the ruthless hands of a man the world once destroyed. A revenge he doesn't look happy genius, again. Taking his name from the unknown inferno from which he returns. Dr. X, the mark of a madman who lives to kill. 
I'll be very careful. I've always been careful, even though I had to kill. You're the blood killer. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. This is just sad. You can't tell me they had his best interests at heart. His strangest portrayal indeed. Gentlemen, I am responsible for the... Yeah, that's where Bogart's career was headed. Well, they got one of them right, different. I hate to say it, in any other studio, he would have been playing big B roles and leads after the petrified forest. They would have started building him. No octopus. Yeah, they wouldn't have given him an octopus. And if they did, it would have been a big one.